The gas-loaded type hydraulic accumulator operates in accordance with Boyle's law of gases, according to which the pressure of a gas is found to vary inversely with its volume for a constant temperature process. It is popularly known as hydropneumatic accumulator. It applies force to the liquid by using a compressed gas that acts as the spring. It uses inert gas, nitrogen, under pressure that provides the compressive force on fluid. Gas charged accumulator consists of a fluid section and a gas section with separator between the two sections. As the volume of the compressed gas changes the pressure of the gas, and pressure of the fluid, changes inversely. A bladder accumulator consists of seamless high-pressure cylinder, with an internal elastomeric bladder with pressurized nitrogen on it, and hydraulic fluid on the other external, side. A hydraulic bladder accumulator consists of a gas section inside the bladder, and a fluid section outside of the bladder. The flexible rubber bladder acts as a gas-proof barrier. The fluid around the bladder hydraulic oil, is connected to the external hydraulic circuit. The accumulator is charged with nitrogen through a valve installed on the top. The accumulator will be pre-charged to nominal pressure when the pumps are not operating. A poppet valve, normally held open by spring pressure, prevents the bladder from extruding out of the fluid port. When the hydraulic pressure external to the accumulator is higher than the pressure inside the accumulator, oil from the hydraulic circuit is forced into the accumulator, compressing the gas and thereby storing energy in the compressed gas, and also storing a reserve volume of oil around the bladder. When the hydraulic pressure external to the accumulator drops below the pressure inside the accumulator, the compressed gas forces oil from the accumulator and the gas expands as the oil exits, until the pressure inside the accumulator and the pressure external to the accumulator are equalized. Diaphragm type accumulator is similar to bladder type, expect an elastomeric diaphragm is used in place of a bag. This would typically reduce the usable volume of the accumulator, so the diaphragm accumulator may not have volume capacity of a bladder accumulator. Diaphragm accumulator may be spherical or cylindrical. The main difference with bladder accumulator is an increased maximum compression ratio of approximately 8 to 1. It is low weight, compact design, and good for shock applications, good response characteristics. Diaphragm type accumulator consists of a diaphragm secured in a shell and serving as an elastic barrier. A shut off button which is secured at the base of the diaphragm, covers the inlet of the fluid connection when the diaphragm is fully stretched. This prevents the diaphragm from being pressed into the opening during the pre-charge period. On the gas side, the screw plug allows control of the charge pressure and the charging of the accumulator by means of a charging and testing device. Piston type accumulator consists of a cylinder assembly, a piston assembly, and two end cap assemblies.
An accumulator contains a free-floating piston with fluid on one side of the piston and pre-charged nitrogen on the other side. An increase of fluid volume decreases the gas volume and increases gas pressure, which provides a work potential when the fluid is allowed to discharge. Piston type accumulators do not react as quickly as a diaphragm or bladder type, but are higher flow rate and high compression ratio up to 10 to 1. The metal bellows accumulator is similar to bladder type, expect the elastic is replaced by a hermetically sealed welded metal bellows. A metal bellows accumulator consists of a pressure vessel with a metal bellows assembly separating fluid and nitrogen. Metal bellows are made up of Teflon and alloys which offer better dampening quality. Metal bellows are used where a fast response time is not critical. This type of accumulator is quite reliable for the hydraulic circuits.